everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little mini haul for you guys. Uh, it's mainly mascaras, but that's okay because everyone wants to know about new mascaras. Uh, where I work, I work at Nordstrom, and we had a Mascara Madness event going on where you buy two mascaras and you get one free, which is really awesome because then you can try out a bunch of new, uh, new mascaras. So I have six mascaras to show you and a couple other things that I wanted to buy. So if you would like to see what I got, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first mascaras that we'll talk about are all from MAC. So since I work for MAC, I love a lot of their mascaras, um, and so I just got three of my favorite ones, but I'll explain them all to you. So the first one is the In Extra Dimension um, mascara, and I have it in the 3D black, so that means it has the blackest uh, pigmentation. And so this is the wand. It's one of those like kind of plasticky looking wands, and I really used to hate these, um, that like type of wand, but now I really fell in love with this mascara because it really gives you the volume and the oomph that you want. It's gonna be the most volumizing and uh, volumizing mascara that we sell at MAC. So I absolutely love that. That's what I have in my lashes today along with the next mascara that I'm gonna show you. And it's the Studio Sculpt Mascara and this is also in the blackest uh, version. So this is what the packaging looks like, just kind of the basic MAC uh, mascara pa packaging. And this is what the wand looks like. It's like a little baby comb. It has two um, sides, like two combs parts of it. So it's really cool because um, it basically combs through your lashes and really defines your lashes. And I'm not in focus. Come on, focus. Hello. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. So what I was saying that it has the little comb to really comb through your lashes and define your lashes. So what I personally do first, before I put in any other mascara, I basically use that as a primer. So I really kind of just comb out my lashes and fan my lashes, which it really gives you that like really intense looking kind of lash, um, no matter what you put in, uh, what other mascara you combine it with. And then the third mascara that I got from MAC is the Hot Naughty Mascara, and this is the brand new waterproof one. So I know a lot of people like just the regular, you know, Hot Naughty um, because it's cool because it has basically two different wands. So when you open up the purple side, you get the most product on the wand. So, um, so that's gonna give you the most like volume and the most curl. Um, and then basically when you open up the top side, it goes through a smaller hole, so it's gonna take off more product um, off the wand. So that's really gonna define your lashes. So you basically are getting two mascaras in one kind of thing. Um, but I really need a mascara that is waterproof, um, for my bottom lashes at least. So I always used to get black smudges underneath my eye and I did not know what was causing it. I didn't know if it was my concealer, like if I wasn't setting it enough with powder or anything like that. Um, so one of the girls that I work with finally told me to try out um, the waterproof mascara when we came out with it for my bottom lashes. And I did and I do not get smudging at all underneath my eye. And I am so happy that I found that out because I would always like seriously look like a raccoon afterwards. And it would be so embarrassing because like what if you're like out or whatever and you didn't find a mirror anywhere or whatever and you just have black like all underneath your eye. And so I'm so happy that I found a waterproof mascara that I really, really like. So I'm excited about that. Okay, now the next grouping of mascaras, these are all brand new mascaras I've never tried before. I don't really know a lot of, about them, um, but I was excited to try them from um, hearing what other people thought about them. So the first one is the YSL Shocking Mascara. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the Shocking Mascara. So it's um, gonna give you a volumizing effect. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. I like how it's gold. And then this is what the wand looks like. So I like that it's kind of like one of those bigger, fluffier wands, um, but not like too big where it's gonna like take over my eye or anything like that. Um, so I really like that one, so I'm excited to try that one. Then the next one is the Dior 
sh the Dior show blackout. And so I have the iconic, I think I'd, it is. And I don't really love it um, because the wand is like extremely plasticky and small, unlike the in extra dimension one that is like it's a little bit bigger. Um, I don't really love the Dior show, like I, or whatever. It, what is it? Oh, the new look. This is this new look one. This is the one, the other Dior one I have. And see, like, the, oh, my dog is driving me crazy. Okay, so back to the fact that this Dior Show new look mascara that I've had before, it has such like a small, skinny wand, and it's like more of that plasticky wand. I don't really love it. I mean, I use it on occasion, but I don't love it. Um, so this Dior Show Blackout, I was excited to try because it's like really, it's a really, really intense like black um, mascara they said, and it has like a super fat fun wand, like that. Um, so I'm really, really excited to try this one out, especially because they said it was really, really pigmented. On the box it says that um, there is black coal in it to make it like super dark, um, which I'm really excited about to try. And then the third one was Lancome, and this is legit my actually first product that I've ever gotten from Lancome before. And this is the, what is it called? The Hypnos Drama one. And so the packaging is nice and sleek. And then when you open it, it has this really nice fat wand, but it also has a curve to it. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a nice curve to it. So um, what does it say it's going to do? I think it's just gonna give me a lot of volume. It says instant full body volume mascara. So I don't know, I'm just excited to try that one out. I know that Lancome is one of the leading um, brands for mascara for on the higher end side. So I'm excited to try that, that one out. Okay, next for the stuff that is not mascara related, um, I just decided to pick up because I've kind of been wanting it for a while, is um, the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And I absolutely love the concealer. Um, the Becca, it's like a full coverage concealer, which is really, really cool. But this is what, I mean, it's really light, so I don't know if you can see it. But that's what it looks like. And it really does like brighten underneath your eye. Like, I know some brightening products don't really do that um, like as intensely, but this one really brightens underneath your eye. Um, and I like that it doesn't really affect like the concealing process either, which is really cool. So this is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Okay, and now two products from Laura Mercier that I'm super excited about. I know a lot of people have been talking about the face illuminator in Indiscretion. That's what that looks like and it has like that nice like beachy wave situation going on so this and the reason why i like this um highlighter is because it's not like super intense you probably can't see that at all there it is okay so it's not like a super intense highlight um so it looks like really good for everyday looks um and I love like the feeling of the powder too. It doesn't feel like gritty or anything um, going on. It just feels really smooth going on. Then next is like the thing that I'm super excited about. It's the Laura Mercier Eye Glaze. And this is in the color Wet Sand. So it looks like this. And when I swatched this in the store, I almost like cried my eyes out because of how beautiful it is. And so it's basically like gold glitter for your eyes. Hold on, let me show you. Why did I do it on that part of my hand? Am I stupid? Hold on, let me move it. I'm just excited about the product and I just wanted to see it for myself and not show you guys. Okay, here we go. Can you see? Where are you? There you are. Super glittery and like just so cool and gold and this stuff really like stays on your on your eyelid too I haven't tried it on my eye but it has stayed on my hand really nicely um, when I've when I've swatched it before and I is it bad that I really want to actually mix this in with my foundation to see what happens I don't know I'm, I might try it one time um, so I'm excited to try that out as well too so um, yeah that is everything for my haul that I got today 
Um, there will also be coming up next, um, Mac is coming out with, or has, once this video goes up, has already came out with 14 new, brand new matte lipsticks. So I'm gonna do a swatch video um, of all the new matte lipsticks. So I'm super excited for that. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you enjoyed this haul and you wanna see other videos like it, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, bye.